Here's a midday update from March 3rd, 2011. Basically, we uh, got the drop from 1332 to 1302 in what could be uh, a wave two. We'll go back, let's go to the 10-day chart. Looks more clear. But it could be in a third wave setup right now. Pattern break. Could be a wave one, rounded wave two, and then wave three setup above the 0.786 break around 1333. If we can close above 1333, it'll set up a third wave that could even take out 1344 in the coming days. And uh, there's tomorrow's a jobs number. So uh, I, when you get rallies like this, it's typically a retracement the next day. So I'm going to see if there's going to be a retracement the next day before reacting to this rally. For the NASDAQ, looks like wave one, rounded wave two, and wave three set up above 2800. So wave one, wave two, pattern break. Uh, best case scenario is that we rally uh, and take out a 2840 in the coming days. And again, my my approach right now is to wait for a dips. So if it, we dip tomorrow on the jobs number, then I'll probably react. But um, if we can take out 2840 tomorrow, if it was a fall theme tomorrow, it takes it 2840, then I would set up uh, another trade for the Dow. Looks like wave one, deep wave two, and wave three pattern break. Um, I, I feel more comfortable if it took out 12,390, to be honest. But uh, it does look like a wave one, wave two, pattern break, wave three. But um, my approach right now is to wait for a dip. And uh, I'm assuming that after we get a rally of this size, there's going to be a small dip tomorrow. So, or I might buy the close. You, you don't know how. I mean, I'm sometimes I can be under unpredictable, so you don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna be watching the close. That's a wrap.